Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to sew my new sewing pattern, the Naya t-shirt. I have really enjoyed making this pattern. It's such a great staple t-shirt to have in your wardrobe. It's great for summer. You can also use it for layering under dresses. These are all the different images of the pattern testers that helped me make this pattern and I really enjoyed seeing everyone's versions. I really do feel like it's such a great pattern for all bodies, all sizes and I think it's just such a great pattern to have in your wardrobe. You can find the pattern on my website site www.tannyhandmade.com. So the Naya t-shirt is a t-shirt pattern and you're going to want to use a t-shirt weight fabric for this project. I have this cotton jersey from Minerva Fabrics. It's a really gorgeous blue shade and has such a nice amount of drape and that's really important if you want the t-shirt to kind of hug your body and just create a more fluid look once you're wearing it. If I just show you this t-shirt that I'm wearing, this is also the Naya t-shirt in a cotton jersey. As you can see, the fabric kind of drapes really nicely over my body and it's not super stiff. I quite like this fabric. So yeah, have a look at different fabrics you wanna use and maybe get some samples so you know what kind of quality it's gonna be like. So this is the t-shirt pattern for the Naya t-shirt. The front and back are actually the exact same pattern piece. So it has the exact same cut on the neckline. You just wanna cut the pattern on the fold and then also cut the neckband and arm cuffs. So I have all my pattern pieces cut out for this pattern. You're going to need two pieces for the front and the back. You're going to need one neckband and then two sleeve cuffs. You want to make sure on the t-shirt you mark a notch at the center at the neckline and this will just help us align things easier later on. So make sure you mark the notch on both the front and back t-shirt. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually place the front and back t-shirt together, right sides facing and align the shoulder seam. So throughout this project, we're going to want to make sure we use a stretch stitch so you can use your overlocker or you can use a zigzag stitch on your standard sewing machine. We're now going to sew the shoulder seams using a one centimeter seam allowance. This is what these shoulder seams should look like now that we've sewn them together. So as you can see, they're nicely attached and they look like this from the right side. Now it's time to prepare the arm cuffs. With the wrong side of the arm cuff facing out, we're just going to fold this in half and press in place. This is what the arm cuff should look like. As you can see, we've pressed it flat and that is what it's looking like. What we want to do now is actually fold the cuff in half and at the center on the raw side, we just want to mark a little notch. This just means we've been able to determine the center of the arm cuff. So this is what your t-shirt will look like. This is the right side facing up and I've just opened it out. This is where the neckline is. And then if we just push this to one side, we can see this is where the armhole is and we're going to align the arm cuff to this point. So because we've now marked a center notch on the arm cuff piece, we're going to align that to the shoulder seam. And then we're going to pin along the rest of this to the armhole. So just to reiterate, this is the right side of the t-shirt facing up. And this is the arm cuff piece. Because we folded it in half, both sides are actually the right side. So it doesn't matter which way this goes. We're going to sew this now using a one centimeter seam allowance. So this is what the arm cuff looks like now that it's been sewn on. And if I just flip it to the right side, this is what it looks like. You just want to press this in place and then also repeat for the other side. So this is what the t-shirt is looking like. I've just pressed the arm cuffs and now it's time to sew the side seam. We're going to make sure the right side of the top is facing up and we're going to grab the back side of the t-shirt and bring it down. So now that means the front and back t-shirt are right sides together. 
and they're placed one on top of the other. What we're going to want to do now is align both side seams. Now we're going to sew both side seams using a 1cm seam allowance. So this is what the t-shirt is looking like right now. We've just sewn the side seams and they're looking really nice and neat. So I personally like to leave a long tail when I'm using an overlocker where the arm cuff sits because then I can push this through these stitches and create a really nice neat finish so it actually looks like that and then just cut it level. I'll show you what I mean now. So I like to get one of these really big needles that have such a big eye. I think this is used for embroidery and what I'm going to do is thread the end of the overlocker thread through the eye. So as you can see, I've threaded it through the eye. I'm just going to bring it down. And what I'm going to do is actually push it in between these stitches. I like to do maybe five or six stitches and then I'm just going to pull this. And as you see, if I just pull it, it's pushed it through these stitches. And if I just take a pair of scissors and snip them, you can see now that that is all finished really nice and neatly. So when I open it up, there's nothing really showing. So if I just turn the top completely right side out, you can see this is what the top looks like now that I pulled it right side out and it's looking really, really good. Now it's time to prepare the neckband. We're going to want to make sure that the right side is facing up and we're going to fold it in half and sew along the seam using a one centimeter seam allowance. So I've just sewn the neckband seam and if I open it out, this is what it should look like. It's now a circular band. What we're going to do at the ironing board now is with the wrong side facing up here, we're going to fold this in half and press this all along so that both right side pieces are facing outwards. So this is what the neckband looks like now that I've pressed it in half and the right sides are facing outwards. I'm just going to align the seam to one side. So here you can see the seam is aligned to one side and on the opposite side, I'm going to make sure I mark a knot on the raw side of the fabric. This just means we have a notch on one side and on the opposite side we have the seam. We're going to want to place the t-shirt right side facing out and we're going to align the back seam of the neckband to the back neckline notch. We want to make sure that the raw edges of the neckband is what we're pinning to the neckline. Then making sure that the neckband isn't twisted, I'm going to align the other notch be marked on the neckband, which is going to be the front with the front notch on the front neckline. And then if you just take your fingers and just pull out the neckband with the shoulder seams of the t-shirt, you can see that it's not twisted. What I like to do now is take the front and backs here and open it out. And as you can see that the neckband isn't twisted when I pull it, and you can see it's already starting to align at the shoulder seam. What you want to do is stretch the neckband and pin it to the rest of the neckline.
So as you can see, I've pinned the neckband to the neckline of the t-shirt and I've made sure that it's not twisted. You want to just make sure that you stretch it evenly across the entire neckband. The neckband is slightly smaller than the neckline, which is why you need to stretch it to fit. Now I'm going to sew this at the overlocker using a one centimeter seam allowance. I like to start from the back edge of the t-shirt. So this is what the neckband should look like. This is from the front and then the back looks like this. Now it definitely takes skill and practice to learn how to sew a neckband without any puckering. If you do have any puckers that appear, you can just always unpick that section and re-sew it. You also might want to take the time to press the neckband flat. But that is the majority of the t-shirt completed. All we have to do now is hem the bottom of the t-shirt. To hem the bottom of the t-shirt, I'm going to fold the bottom edge towards the wrong side by one centimeter, again by one centimeter, and I'm going to pin this along the entire hem. Now I've pinned the entire hem, I'm just going to sew this at the sewing machine, really close to the edge. You can use a standard stitch for this, or you can use a zigzag stitch, but because this isn't super fitting at the waist, you can definitely get away with just using a standard stitch. And this is what the final t-shirt looks like. Let's see what it looks like on. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I sew the Naya t-shirt. You can find the pattern on my website. I've left a link in the description box below. I really love making really simple, easy patterns that anyone can sew. This is a great project if you've never tried sewing with knits before because it's very easy to make. I literally wear my Naya t-shirts all the time, as you can probably tell. And I just really hope you enjoy making this pattern. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I'll see you in the next one.